Adjectives to describe character. Today we will study words used to describe someone's character. 今日我哋将会研究用嚟形容一个人性格嘅生字。They can be used in writing book reports or film reviews. Number one, adventurous, 有冒险精神的。Always ready to try different. And exciting things, even if they are dangerous. For example, for the more adventurous members of the group, there are activities such as rock climbing and scuba diving. 对于中意冒险嘅成员，佢哋可以参加一啲活动，例如系攀岩或者系潜水。Number two. Aggressive, 好斗的，挑人性的。Someone who is aggressive behaves in an angry way and seems to want to fight or argue. For example, he suddenly became aggressive and started shouting. 佢突然间变得咄咄逼人，并且开始大声叫喊。Number three. Artistic, 有艺术细胞的 Good at painting and drawing, and also at making and designing things using your skill and imagination. For example, she comes from a very artistic family, as her mother is an interior designer and her father is an architect. 佢嚟自一个充满艺术气氛嘅家庭。係因為佢嘅媽媽係一位室內設計師，而佢嘅爸爸係一名建築師。Number four, calm, 平靜的。Not getting angry or upset, even in a difficult situation. For example, the chief executive answered all the questions in a calm and tactful manner. 行政長官回答所有問題嘅時候，都係喺平靜同埋委婉嘅方式。For example, she is usually a calm and diplomatic woman. 佢通常沉著而老練。Number five, cheerful, 開朗的 ，always happy, smiling and friendly. For example. The children could stay cheerful in spite of the bad exam result. 儘管考試成績欠佳，小朋友仍然可以開，仍然可以保持開朗。For example, Jane greeted us with a cheerful smile. 阿 Jane 用一個好開心嘅笑容嚟迎接我哋。Number six, conceited, 自負的。Too confident about your own abilities and achievements in a way that annoys people. 过于自信自己嘅能力成就，而令别人觉得好讨厌。For example, the couple are so snobbish and conceited. 呢一对夫妻系咁势利同埋自负。Number seven. Critical, 批判的 Someone who is critical always says negative things about others' work or the things they do and say. For example, Mr. Lee was not a popular teacher as he was too critical. Lee 先生唔系一个受欢迎嘅老师，因为佢太喜欢批评别人啦。Number eight, insensitive, 感覺遲鈍的 not realizing that some of the things you say or do are likely to upset or offend people. For example, Sue's husband is an insensitive brute. Sue 嘅先生係一個唔敏感嘅野蠻人 For example, Leslie was insensitive to anyone's feeling but his own. 
。Leslie 對人哋嘅感情係唔會敏感嘅，但係佢只會著緊佢自己嘅感覺。Number nine, moody, 情緒化的 Often getting angry or annoyed, even though there seems to be no reason to feel like this. For example, after the accident, the woman had become increasingly moody and depressed. 喺事件發生咗之後，嗰、那個女人已經變得越嚟越喜怒無常，情緒低落。Number ten, optimistic, 乐观的 Someone who is optimistic always expects good things to happen and believes that they will eventually get what they want. For example, Danny is still very optimistic about his chances of winning a gold medal. Danny 對於佢自己咧再次贏到一個金牌嘅機會咧，仍係感到非常之樂觀嘅。Number eleven, passionate, 熱沉的。Someone who is passionate has a strong and positive feelings towards what they like. For example, the Labour Party leader is a passionate defender of human rights. 呢、这個工黨嘅領袖係一個有熱誠嘅人權衛士。Number twelve, sympathetic, 富同情深的 ，ready to try to understand people's problems and to help them if you can. For example, Frank looked sympathetic towards the fire victims. Frank 睇嚟對呢一啲火災嘅災民好有同情心。唔知大家又會唔會諗到邊一啲人物可以用呢十二個形容詞去形容佢哋咧 ？Details. Try to avoid using simple general words to describe someone's character. It's good to give a real example of an occasion that shows that what you are saying is true. If you want to say that someone does something often. And this is an important part of their character. You can say that they are always doing something. For example, he's always complaining. 佢总系喺度投诉嘅 Mary is very considerate. She's always helping people. Mary 系一个好体贴嘅人，佢经常去帮助别人。If you want to say that someone sometimes behaves in a particular way, you can use "tend to be" or "can be," especially when talking about negative qualities. 当你咧想去形容一个人，佢经常性咧去表现某一个行为啦，你可以使用 "tend to be" 往往。或者 can be 可以喺用 tend to be 同埋 can be 咧，通常我哋都會講一啲關於負面嘅性格嘅。For example, she tends to be rather impatient. 佢傾向係唔耐煩嘅。He can be very moody at times. 佢可以非常情緒化嘅。If you want to say something negative about someone, you often use "not very." For example, he's not very sympathetic. He's unsympathetic. 佢一个绝情嘅人 She's not very decisive. She's indecisive. 优柔寡断嘅一个人 This is the end of this topic. You may now try the exercise below and check out the answers yourself. Bye bye.